Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yes, as you know, we have always said, you know, um, doing a presentation, I always look on your LCD. Yeah, man, the LCD, because we not only give you a presentation, but we give you a visual so that you can correlate, you know, you have it right here and you're getting the information so you can read and you can visualize what you're looking at. So, um, yeah, so this, this is a detective, you know, her name is Morris. And, you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Center, we are imploring and asking you, you know, members of the Jamaica Young Police Channel family to help this detective, you know, um, donate it to her girlfriend or account. And you will learn, you know, why Vibes Cartel is beside her in the photo. So, bless your heart. Um, Detective Morris, as you can see that, um, you know, she has served the Jamaica Constabulary Force and you're going to hear it, you know, for over two decades, you're going to hear it for herself. And what she and Vibes Cartel have in common, both of them have tattoos on their bodies. Yes, tattoos. And so, we're not any scientists or anything like that, you know, so... You watch, you listen, and you decide, because you're going to hear for herself what she's going to tell um, the interviewer, you know, at one of her local stations in Jamaica. So you watch, you listen, you decide, because she's very, very sick, you know, and we're going to delve deep down into her illness and, and all of that, okay? So you watch, you listen, and you decide. And remember to share your thoughts and comments below. Morris four years ago, a detective corporal for 22 years in the JC. This was Averine Morris four years ago, a detective corporal for 22 years in the JCF's major investigation division, MID, doing what she loves. But that all changed in 2020 when she learned she was ill while doing a root canal procedure. The 44-year-old is now plagued with squamous cell carcinoma, also known as sinus cancer, which has impacted her speech and appearance and continues to eat away at her face. Though local doctors have given up on her, Morris flew to Florida where she began treatment. All was going well, but suddenly things took a turn. <laughs> Heartbroken yet hopeful, Morris returned to Jamaica with an open mind and began her quest to find a doctor who could restore her health. And someone did come forward, but her finances were in limbo. She now needs 66,000 U.S. dollars for the life-saving treatment in Mexico, which will span three months. <laughs> Though Morris is grateful for the JCF and her loved one's assistance, it is still not enough. Her immediate care and certain expenses now fall on her 22-year-old daughter, Renicia Raymond. 
Feeding her mother through a tube is another expense she now bears. Her food is very expensive because the doctor, she usually get insured, but the doctor says she must come off and insure because it's not really, it not really help her at the moment. But she usually feed on nutrient, which is very expensive. Uh -huh. Them now sell it out here, so we have added it online. The duo remains optimistic Morris will be able to successfully undergo surgery. But that depends on how soon they secure the funds. To assist, persons are urged to make contributions directly to Morris's accounts as shown on the screen. Visit her GoFundMe via the name Jason Dixon or contact her daughter at 876-565-7592. Already grateful for what they have amassed so far, they look with hope to the future. Trisha A. Kelly, CVM News. This was... A yes, uh, you know that... Um as you, you look on the LCD, so if you are in Jamaica and you want to donate to her in Jamaica, you know, there are the bank account numbers, you know, and it has her name, Avarin uh, Morris, and you know the branch, yeah. So one of her branches in town, um, NCB, and you have Bank of Nova Scotia. Yeah, so, so as, as we have said to you before, you know, why well, sickness is not something that people plan for. You understand that? Because all of us, we everyone love life, you know. No, nobody likes to, you know, no, nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to live forever. All of us. But you have to understand that, you know, you know, some of us, you know, some will leave before others. As my mother said, some just leave before, but all of us are leave on them thing. There. So it's like, you know, she said, when a man kill a man and him feel good, he must remember, say, if him there come to, you understand. But we at the Jamaica Young Pot, we just wish um, Oman Carpal, Detective Oman Carpal, Avarin Morris, a speedy recovery. We're not going to say, you know, based on what we have seen, because we're not a doctor. So we are telling now, so um, there is a um, GoFundMe thing online, um, start by, you know, um, one of our nephew. Um, you know, basically, you know, um, this is what it says. So it's, a, it's at hemotherapy, and you're going to see the link to go to the goal for me. Hemotherapy sponsorship for cancer recovery. So they need 66,000 US, as you hear them saying are they, um, in the broadcast before by CVM. Yeah, they need 66,000 US to help her, and that's the goal. So this is what the, um, the goal for me thing says. Because police officers send it to me, you know, they send it. Um, I don't know, I don't know, Detective Morris, 22 years ago, uh, no, I wouldn't know her, because I left, you know, I left the force a long time, but still police, because she has still police. Um, so it's a hello, friends and family. I would be very thankful to you if you would take the time to help my dear aunt. My aunt's name is Avarine Morris. Avarine Morris. She's an ardent investigative detective of the major in major investigation department of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. She was diagnosed with a cancerous tumor in her left eye, which has been spreading rapidly. Despite previous treatments in Jamaica and the United States of America, her medical team said that there was nothing else they could do to help her. As a year, she has said earlier in the, um, the CVM broadcast, you see she had cried because she has said, Doctor, them tell us, hey, look here, we can't, Doctor, them are Miami, Florida. I said, we can't do nothing for you, let's go home and prepare yourself for call it a day. So she said, boy, she never ready for that, so she had cried and them things. You know, so. Uh, so we continue, you know, moving on with the you, um, go for me thing. It says, getting a second chance at life to live to tell the tale of cancer recovery should be the ideal dream of all cancer patients. Averin has now earned her second chance at life at an oncology center, this time around in Mexico. This oncology center specializes in the type of cancer she suffers from and they have given her much hope. To undergo this treatment, she has to come up with United States dollar sixty six thousand. I appeal to you now to give your support and help in any way you can. 
This was my aunt before she was diagnosed with cancer. And you're going to see a photograph once I go there where I tell you that some of the images, some people, if you're not strong, don't watch it, don't look at it. So we're just going to give you a heads up that even although we are continuing the video, you're going to see the bandage that is over her face. It's covering a hole in her face. You know, like some, like she's a space person or an alien. You can't believe say, this is a somebody who's alive. So that's why you see the bandage over her. So maybe not for a face mask. So you have to really strong for look at her. And everybody can manage them things. Some people can't manage them kind of image them. It haunt, it haunt them and traumatize them. So we want to know, so what, so we're going to say something now to you, you know, so what Vibes Cartel and Detective Carpal Morris have in common. So we're telling them, you know, so this is where, you know, um, it says when you disturb God's creation by putting tattoos on your skin, a kind of disease can and will befall you. Yeah, uh, that's a, you know, so remember if you please help Detective Morris by donating to this GoFundMe and, you know, you learn why Cartel is beside her in the photo. Bless your hearts. So Detective Morris, yeah man, she has a big hole. That's a she, you know, and Cartel, see two of them, you know, Wipes Cartel and Detective Morris have one thing in common. And when you watch, you will understand. Both of them, they have tattoos. Uh, she, so she, that, that's a she, so she pretty and everything, and look on... You won't even recognize her, you know, because I told you one day, I see him person, I see him person that, you understand? So, you know, say, uh, boy, you have to really have strong heart for really, you know, even go beside her base and look now and them things there, and you can see everything about her, her features change, she's not the same person, and she have a daughter. But, as I say, and so, as you know, Vibes Cartel have grave disease. We are not a doctor, you know, but we just tell us, uh, is there like some commonality between both, both of them? Because many people we know, you know, where we just attack from what we have known. Many people that we know where end up with all kind of cancer and dead. We are telling us, uh, we are just telling you, know, we are not saying there is any correlation. A people that may have tattoo, and then we have other people who never have tattoo, and same age, no problem. So, you understand? So, we continue the journey. So, we don't know there's a correlation between tattooing and these disease, grave disease, and this cancerous thing because what I don't want to believe, although them say the tattoo, remember saying it, your skin is the largest organ on your body, you know. So, we don't want to believe it, you know. But you don't know people, you tell us, oh, you know, it do affect you. Your skin is the largest organ on your body. We know say some of you don't understand that. Well, just look it up. Your skin, yeah. We are not a scientist, but we learn that in a biology. Your skin is the largest organ on your, on your body. So once you interfere with it, you know, say, whether or not you want the ink, um, remember, say, after a while, the thing become permanent. So ink, it goes in your system. And that's why when you go, like, for do a, you know, MRI or CT scan and they use ink, these people that use that, these are things that have been scientific tests. So them know. So after them use it, it got go out of your system. But you understand. But you don't know when you go to all of these um, tattoo artists if them instrument clean. Cause them not gonna replace the needle and all them thing. You know, so you understand. You don't know what you're getting. So that's why you just love the way that our God created you. I tell you, don't trouble it. So the main reason um, the United States military that was back then when when hygiene it, you understand them used to discourage members from getting tattoos. You know is that the ink from the tattoo corrupts the blood vessels and can lead to all kinds of disease. That's how they most say, you know when in that that's how me join it in you know, a total different thing. So some can be incurable like cancer and grave disease. That's how they, you know, that's not like a scientific thing, but them just tell you. Them just tell you these things when, you know, you're in a training, you know, you go to classroom because, I don't know, because scared them or scared from to put tattoo on your skin. But you mostly white people do that still, do, you know. So that will not apply to me as a black man. Although, uh, I mean, have a bleach like vibes, cartel, or that the woman, if, if more of a wear tattoo, but you know, I catch, I, you, number one, you'll never catch me, <laughs> yeah, as a man, 
I don't go pierce my ears. Now tell me say African thing, because I'm not trying to be feminine. Because most of them when they pierce them ears, they behave like them a girl. Whether or not you want to believe it, with the ears ring. Yeah. And them kind of behave kind of feminist. Not all of them, in some. I'm not going to up my ear, because I'm not a woman. So you're not going to see me with that. I'm not going to try to you want to now. You're not going to see me with that tattoo on my skin. Just the way that how God met me, I see me, I go back. I don't believe in them things, you understand? So I just me that. I'm glad of me, I was raised. I love myself. You understand? So, as I'm telling you, know, as we tell you, say, when them, these are not like a part of training back then. You understand? Some, you know, them say that. So it is best not to put tattoo on, your, on their skin to showcase any murals. Get someone to paint your murals as painting and put them in your house for you to see for yourself instead of your body as it's a sign of this is how you know low self-esteem and self-hatred love yourself the way that god make you yeah why you want to put things on your body for other people say you know love yourself if you love yourself you wouldn't disturb god you know the beauty of god that's showing you so far as i know to 2024 the united states military does have specific guidelines and tattoos to ensure a uniform and professional appearance. Rules may vary, vary between branches, but tattoos that are excessive, offensive, or visible in typical uniform attire may be restricted. The focus is typically maintaining a cohesive and disciplined image rather than L cancer related to tattoo ink. So people get tattoo for personal, cultural, or artistic reasons, and opinions and body art differs widely. It is important to note that attributing low self-esteem or self-hatred to those with tattoos subjective judgment and may not accurately ref reflect an individual's motivations for getting inked. So, if you are interested in the specific tattoo regulation of the United States military, yeah, man, it's advisable to refer to official military guidelines and consult with military personnel for accurate information, especially those who, you know, in our military and I watch the Jamaica Young Police Senate. So, as of my last knowledge update in January 2022, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that tattoos, when performed on a hygienic and professional condition, so that I go for me, um, link, yeah, that's how they you know, you, you understand, just type in that and to the GoFundMe if you're in America, anywhere in the world, to donate to Detective Ava, Ava Morrison. Don't worry about your police, you need some help. Just like how, you know, we ask help for um, Dadrick Henry. And Dadrick Henry passed away like uh, over two weeks ago. May his soul rest in peace. So what does I tell you now where, um, you know, this away from Uncle Sam, himself says, when performing on hygienic and professional condi conditions, you know, lead to disease like cancer and other health issues. So this, when we repeat it, as of, as of my last knowledge update in January 2022, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that tattoos, when performed, when, that's us you know, when perform on the hygienic and professional conditions, lead to diseases like cancer and other serious health issues. I wonder if you know you hear that. You saw them put it because you know so they don't want to put the tattoo industry in on a problem. Put them out of business because everything is all about making money. Let me repeat this again a third time. So as of as of my last knowledge update in January 2022, this is from the military you know, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that tattoos when performed under hygienic and professional conditions leads to disease like cancer or other serious health issue. Alright, remember, you know, so that when them, 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 them not tell you, that's why if you can't read, you know, they are telling you, you know, that if your tattoo is not done on a hygienic and professional condition, it can lead to cancer. That is what it's saying. <laughs> you understand? So, tattooing involves injecting ink into the dermal layer of the skin using needles. The ink is designed to stay in the skin and not enter the bloodstream in significant and not enter the bloodstream in significant quantity, 
while there can be some risk associated with tattooing, such as infections if proper hygiene is not maintained. The notion that tattoos directly cause cancer or serious in in diseases lacks scientific support. So you hear them say up this up before. Them saying you know, it. <laughs> repeat it you now. So yeah, that's why it's good for reading you now. As of as of my last knowledge update in January 2022, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that tattoos when performed under hygienic and professional conditions lead to disease like cancer or other serious health issues. So I let it tell you, you know, so once it is done on a hygienic and professional condition, you won't end up with a disease like cancer or other health issues. Then below that now it I tell you now, you understand it's tell you say while there can be some risks associated with tattooing, such as infection, it's if proper hygiene not maintained, the notion that tattoo directly causes cancer or serious disease lacks scientific support. So are you epic sense or nonsense? Just remember that. So choosing a reputable and licensed tattoo artist who follows proper sterilization procedures is essential to minimize the risk of infection and ensure a safe tattooing experience. Suppose you have concern about the health implication of getting a tattoo in case it is recommend, recommended to consult with a healthcare professional for professional advice based on your health status and pre-existing condition. Research in tattoo safety continue and staying informed about new findings is always a good idea. However, as of now, there is no conclusive evidence linking tattoos to increase risk of cancer or rare disease when that's listen when proper safety measures are observed. So let me repeat that. If Miss Morris or anyone for her listen, and anyone who's planning any any young person who's planning on getting a tattoo, just listen this, you know. Cause them now go tell us hey, you must get it in because it's money. Billion dollar industry that you think them care about you. Alright. Research in tattoo safety. Continue and staying informed about new findings is always a good idea. However, as of now, we are talking 2024, February 23rd, 2024. There is no conclusive evidence linking tattoo to an increased risk of cancer or, or, or grave diseases when proper safety measures are observed. So they tell you, you know, I want you to understand what it say. It's saying, you know, there is no conclusive evidence linking tattoos to an increased risk of cancer or grave disease when proper safety measures are observed. So if, uh, if you show the proper safety measures that are observed, you are at the risk to get grave disease and cancerous. In a, you understand? I hope you get that now. So all of you police officers or people out there who are planning to get tattoo, you hear them say. So when you go to a tattoo specialist, you them use that needle. Yeah. And, and I put on thing on you and him something there. As we say, if you love the way of God, make it, you don't want to change it. But if you don't love the way because you feel like people feel look upon you and them thing they like you, you know, you have some mural. You know, me get somebody paint the thing and take it away and put it on your wall. And as simple as that. So you hear them say. So she have tattoo just like Vibes Cartel. So you told them, you know. I hope you all learned all them things. You know. We are not a doctor, you know, but we do a lot of reading. So that's why we are sharing this with you guys. So if you are planning on taking, uh, having any tattoo ink on your skin, reconsider. Don't do it. Can you hear what I'm saying? I want to tell you this. Um, I'm just talking from memory. And it is there. Mm, a few years ago, maybe, no, 2024, maybe seven years ago or thereabouts, or in between, yeah, seven years ago. You know, I'm a veteran of the United States military. You know, I'm many over me, veterans were catching, um, uh, uh, you know, getting all kind of diseases, especially at Miami University, uh, the VA at Miami. Miami VA are the one of the largest VA in South Florida because them have, yeah, them have like mm, close to like 400 beds there or something like that. You understand? And, you know, veterans were doing like colonoscopy and all kind of thing and ending up getting all kind of disease. So my disease 
some 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 get even HIV, some get AIDS because the people that you know that they were operating and they never clean the instrument them after that. So that's how many people get get um, these disease. So that's why and you know them some people were even charged criminally for that. Because you have people who are trained and you know they understand because we don't want to believe although I hear body and everything when they operate on it the cells them you know them can become disease after you know you understand so that's why they have a special way of sterilize, um, sterilize them and they weren't done and a whole heap of veterans end up with all kind of thing cancer some dead and all kind of thing so that's why we don't we not mess with God body so if you look on the detective Morris she has a big black hole on the right side of her face that is covered by the bandage so if you want to see the same, you go to our GoFundMe account and once you go there, you'll be able to see the wall. The man, big wall. And I'm not going to describe it and them things because some people, them hear all them things, half a day is in the sleep because some people are not strong, they're not strong enough. So some people stay. Remember your mind now, you train your mind, you understand. So that's what you're you not, you not see. So, yeah, please donate to Miss Ross, Detective Ross. And as you can hear, I mean, well, most people, you know, even cover the issue. They don't even go in there and tell you the cause and effect from getting inks. Yeah, because the first thing that when I saw this woman and them thing there, you know, the first thing that came to mind is right back when I was in, when I joined the military, I made a boot camp. And you understand, that I first thing that come to mind when I tell you about the ink, not to get tattoo and I tell you this and that. And you know, that's how most people end up getting disease from needles. So, a word to the wise is sufficient. Don't try to disturb what God created. So, Vibes Cartel, Grave Disease, all of them tattoos the way have can be the cause. As you hear it say, it has to be done in a professional settings. You understand? Hygienic and professional settings. Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.